why this exists better to use water hi guys welcome back to my channel and how's you all guys i hope you all are doing well and stay safe stay healthy and stay beautiful well in this video i'm going to be talk about chemist at play toner and you know guys very well i've been trying this toner i guess over a month now and here i'm going to share with you my thoughts about this toner so now let's start first i have this chemist at play with essential ceramides hydrating face toner and it has 0.5% hyaluronic acid plus 0.5% pentavitin and the pentavitin has uh, you know hydrating properties and also restores skin barrier and along with it has aloe vera and uh, some other soothing properties like allantoin and licorice extract right? so it has uh, soothing and hydrating properties and they mentioned that this one is suitable for dry to combination skin type if you have a dry dehydrated skin either dull skin and according to my experience this toner is really really waste of money it did nothing on my skin and i don't know this toner is very very useless product i guess this toner is worst of 2020-2022 might be you like it but personally i don't like this toner and if you have tried this toner so share your experience do you like this toner or not but personally i won't recommend i didn't see any difference i didn't see any hydration even i have oily acne prone skin so i can't even recommend if you have a dry to combination skin type so big no no from my side better to use water but if you want to use for you know uh, refreshing purpose so you can use but personally i don't like this okay next i have this chemist at play with essential ceramides brightening face toner and it has 5% glycolic acid plus 2% vitamin c so basically it has ethyl ascorbic acid means derivative of vitamin c 2% and along with it has aloe vera and rice extract some other soothing properties so overall it has a quite good ingredient and the ph of this toner is between 3 to 4 which is really really effective if you are using any exfoliator so i'll make a separate video for aha like which aha is really effective and if you are using any exfoliator like aha or bha then ph should be between 3 to 4 then they are effective either they are not so i'll share with you a separate video very soon so stay tuned for that so basically as i said the ph of this toner is between 3 to 4 so of course it's exfoliate very well on my skin so it's really amazing if you're looking for gentle exfoliator but i won't recommend if you have sensitive skin but this toner is suitable for all skin type and yeah it's really amazing toner i saw a glow on my face even next day actually i have used it only for three times because glycolic acid is very very strong than lactic acid so uh, i guess twice in a month is enough if you are using glycolic acid i won't recommend if you have sensitive and now what are the benefit of glycolic acid so the benefit is same as same lactic acid means it works on uh, textured skin like it's giving me a glowing effect it works on dark spots and pigmentation so yes if you wanna switch lactic acid to glycolic acid so you can try this it's really amazing and i saw a glow on my face and of course it works on my textured skin like i got tiny bumps a uh, few days back so it works so yes i can say it's really amazing and effective you can try this toner and now which is very very important how to use this glycolic toner either glycolic acid serum either any ahe and bhe basically it comes in a spray form which is i don't like because if you use directly on your face then it may irritate your eyes so don't use directly on your face okay and and the brand mentioned that on their website like uh, you can use it as a makeup prep spray seriously no you don't use like this any spray like especially if you're using a glycolic toner and the second thing if required you can use it multiple times a day for a quick hydration boost i mean seriously why they mention like this you can't use 
you know exfoliator on daily basis even multiple times this is very very wrong really so now how to use glycolic toner perfectly either you can use a cotton pad either you can use a second method you can uh, spray it on your palm and apply it on your face so this is the very correct method and I use it use and you can use either this method either uh, cotton pad and yeah here is the video end and I hope you found this video helpful if yes then please like share and subscribe to my channel and yeah a big no no from my side for this toner and yes you can try this toner it's really amazing if you wanna try uh, glycolic acid toner and thank you for watching see you soon next bye bye